All right, so before we get started with our data visualization, we need to load the data set in our Jupyter Notebook. So here we are going to use COVID-19 data set, especially for the year of 2020. And if you download the resources folder, in the resources folder, you will be seeing there a data set folder. Inside this data set folder, you have COVID-19. So inside this COVID-19, there I'm going to load COVID-19 data clean version. All right. So this version I'm going to load inside the COVID-19 data set. All right. Perfect. So the first of all, you need to type there read.csv and then you need to type there data sets. So once you type there the data sets, then you need to type there COVID. Uh, once you type there this the name, you will notice that we are not getting any of the suggestion when we when we do this um, the tab key because we are not in the working directory. You can get the working directory like this get working directory. So this one is working directory currently fundamentals of data visualization on ggplot2 but this data set is inside this Udemy. That's mean we need to go back one layer previous. All right. So you need to put here this double dot. That's mean we are going back of the directory. We are currently inside this directory. Then we are going back to Udemy. Then we go back there in the data set. Now, if you press a tab button, you will notice that these are the suggestions. So I want inside this COVID-19. Thereafter, press tab button once again. Then I want this COVID-19 data clean.csv version. Just hit here shift and the enter. That means run this cell. You will notice that this whole data set is presented here. All right. So we don't want to display this whole data set. So I'm going to just read this into a data. So it is read into a data a variable and uh, Thereafter, if you get the structure of this data variable, you will notice that this date is represented in the form of character. This should have been into a date format. Thereafter, we have here a province state. So this state is also a character. We don't mind. There is the country, which is of course a character. Then we have a latitude and the longitude, which is number. That's when these are the double. And then we have the integer numbers. All right. So the moreover, we need only a data change in the date column and to do this data change, that's when the data type change for this date, we want the data type of the date. And for that, we are going to use a LubriDate package. All right. So this LubriDate package we have already loaded inside this notebook. You need to simply type there month, day, year. It's like this month, day, year. Thereafter, it's like month, day, year. Then you type there a data. Then you put there a dollar sign. You put there a date. All right. Just run it. Thereafter, you will notice that this whole, this one is converted into a date time. All right. I'll tell you. Thereafter, you just need to store it into this new column. And then if you run the structure of this data let me show you the structure of this data now you will notice that the type of this date column is date now and currently it is changed into a date and we are ready to do a grouping first of all and then we will get started with the plotting so why we need a grouping because if you notice let me tell you if you notice here in the province and state so this province and state is having multiple multiple entry for a single country because if a single country has reported the covid cases for their state multiple times i mean for a multiple states let's say in the us or any other country or australia or china they have a multiple state and they are reporting the corona cases state wise instead of the whole country wise so there you will Notice that a single country name is coming multiple times. So for that, we need to group it together. So for a grouping, we are going to group it first. All right. So for a grouping, we need to install here a new package. So I'm going to just type there install 
dot packages and inside that we need to type there plyr that's the plyr package just run it it's going to install in some time otherwise we also need to give here the live path so we already have this live path rerun it once again it's going to install it in our library path which we have given there all right thereafter there is some of the warning you just ignore these warning don't worry about these warning and once this package is installed, I'm just going to comment this package. All right. You can do a comment and uncomment if you press the control and forward slash. The forward slash is just beside the shift key in your keyboard. All right. If you press the forward slash one time, it's going to comment. And if you press the another time, it's going to uncomment that. All right. Now you need to call here DD. PLY. If you remember, we have already covered it into our previous section when, when I was teaching you the fundamentals of the data frame. Thereafter, this DDPLY package, then we need to pass here the data inside this. And then we need to pass the column which we want to group together. We want to group their date and the country. Thereafter, we are going to do here the summation so inside that actually it's num column wise all right so it's like this one number call wise and there we are going to put here a sum and we just need to run it and then we are going to get it into a new data just run it it says that all right we had not actually loaded this one so we need to actually load this one first of all there plyr package so this plyr package is loaded now this data has been executed it will take a while to do this grouping once this grouping is done then i'm going to do here once again this str that means the structure of the data thereafter you will notice there this one provenance state has been removed all these things are grouped together we are having date and the country and other numerical columns together but one thing we are we are also going to remove these latitude and the longitude because we had performed here a column wise sum and latitude longitude cannot be summed together so we are going to just remove these and to remove these latitude and longitude i have already told you the previously you can simply type there like this within the data frame data and then you need to type there rm that's when remove i want to remove this latitude and then this longitude this one i'm going to get it into the data once again thereafter if you get the structure now of the this data you will notice there we have here confirmed required deaths and active cases along with the date and the country all right now we are going to get here the cases for the united state of the america so there i get it with the subset there is subset there you get the data and in that i say here this country is equal to is equal to us and if you run it sorry this should be actually in capital format if you run it you get the data for us country i'm going to store it into a new data variable which is us thereafter I'm also going to get the data for the top 10 countries. All right, the top 10 countries which have a most number of Corona cases. So to get the data for top 10 countries which have a most number of Corona cases, we need to order our, uh, order our data frame along with this confirmed cases in the decreasing order. So for that, we need to do like this. Let's say we do here order and then we do here this latest all right sorry the order actually we need to do the order and then the data for the confirmed cases so there you have this sorry confirmed cases and thereafter i do it in decreasing order which is actually a true all right so just run it it's going to run it actually just a second well i think this one is actually wrong this should not be the data this uh, this should not be date but data 
all right so there once you get these are actually the index number thereafter you need to put it inside this data and there is a comma and put it inside this square bracket run it now we are getting it into a decreasing order so these are the maximum confirmed cases all right thereafter you will notice there a single country is coming multiple time because these confirmed cases are highest for united states of america for many days all right so what we need to do we need to get the latest data and to get the latest data what we can do we can simply type there the latest is equal to subset of the data and in that subset of the data i'm going to put here the data and then i say here date is equal to is equal to maximum of date that's mean it's going to give you the data for the latest date and if you now run this latest you will notice that you are getting all these countries only a single time and these data are available only uh, for a 13th of december 2020 but there is one problem here it's the latest data and it is possible that some of these countries might not have reported the latest data all right so we need to go back at least two three days to get the correct data and for that i'm just going to put here a minus three so that we can minus three or minus five let me put here a minus five so that we can get the let me put here minus three would be much better all right so now we are getting the data latest data for the 10th of december 2020 this can be said that okay these are the latest and actual data all right now we have inside this latest thereafter we need to we need to order this latest in the decreasing order so i'm just gonna put it here this latest and the latest there so this one is going to be the latest data all right then i say here this latest thereafter this latest is in the shortest order that's mean in the sort order now we need to get the top 10 countries data that we can get it like this there you have the latest and then i'm going to select it row wise so in the row wise one to ten row then there is a comma that's mean select all column run it there you will notice these are the top 10 rows and in these top 10 we have us india brazil russia france uk there i say that this one is actually top 10 all right just run it we have got the top 10 countries name all right perfect so this one is going to be the top 10 and these are the column names and these are the countries which have these top 10 all right superb and one more thing if you notice there these are the row numbers and these are actually indices so these indices are index number we don't want this big number we want it put into a simple format so for that you need to put it like this you need to put here a row dot uh, sorry it, it's going to be the row names and there inside that you need to put here this top 10 and then put here 1 to 10 and just run it all right thereafter if you see this top 10 you will notice that the row number are now given as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 and 10 all right perfect superb superb let's go ahead and get started with the plotting of this data in the next lecture all right i'll see you next lesson